What's up, everybody? Hugo Infinity here, coming out with my first book review. So the book I'm gonna be talking about, off the bat, it was a five out of five. So a very good beginning to my book interview series because this kind of sets the bar pretty high. The book overall, it, it, it impressed me more than I thought it would. You know, I, I thought it was, you know, obviously titled Monkey Wars, thinking a fictional kind of playful book. When it really talked on um, a lot of moral issues and really spoke on a lot of philosophy of, of war and, and the mindsets that people obtain. It's, it's based off of the Holocaust in a way, but not very specific because that's what the author wanted to achieve with this book was to kind of speak on the principles and, and the moral dilemmas that people face when war starts brewing, you know, when regimes start forming. And so that's why he decided to tell the story through monkeys because it's the fact that we it's not very race specific or ethnicity specific or you know catered to a certain region it kind of applies to everybody that everyone can find a way to relate to it so off the bat it was, a, it was an amazing concept starting off you know and um as i got into the book you know beginning you know, it was pretty interesting it, it jumped right into the action it it showed the action more than it told it you know it, it, was, very, it, was, it was very it allowed you to have an experience. It didn't just tell you the story, just present words. No, it actually had you go through the through the actions and the emotions with the characters. And the characters, you know, there's those pretty fantastic characters. I thought he did a great job. Um, the main thing was their character development. The characters really, you really see them grow and learn throughout the book. You know, in the beginning, it, it talks on like. Papina, she's she's this monkey, where she's living in the cemetery. She's part of this uh, the recess troop, the recess monkeys, where they're, they're very calm monkeys that are living inside the city. And suddenly, the Langer monkeys, it's another monkey troop. They come and they completely just attack, and they start taking over the cemetery. You know, Papina loses her father, but when they go out, become stray monkeys, and then. It, it, and it, it goes back and forth between characters. It's in third per person, omniscient, omniscient. I don't know. Yeah, forgive me for that. But um, it talks it talks on third person, and it goes back back and forth between characters. You have Pina, who's part of the recess troops, who are, you know they're they're the monkeys that are being attacked. They're the monkeys that you know are the victims. They're facing these obviously these offensive, angry. You know, monkeys that just are trying to wipe them out. And then you have the Langer. And it shows the Langer perspective through Miko. He's this, he's this monkey that's growing up, you know. He doesn't know, at first, he doesn't know about war. He doesn't know about violence. You know, he's just growing up with the troops. He thinks this life's normal. And so he starts growing up and starts, you know, joining the ranks and joining the troops and figures out, you know, he figures out what their culture is based on. If they're, you know, attack and conquer, that's, that's the. Let me see if I can find a certain quote from the book, actually. Yeah, it says, We the Langer are the only troop that has the courage to fight for peace. And so basically, they find themselves acting as, as the control group. They're the ones that come in and bring order, but it's order through force, and then that's, that's they, they believe heavily in obedience, they believe heavily in, in, in control and order. And so it shows the moral dilemma of Rico as he's growing up and he's, you know, questioning the morality of it. He's questioning, you know, I know the troops always been like this, but is there another way? You know, do we always have to shed blood? And so what happens is Miko, he, he's, you know, he's growing up in the troop and he sees this other monkey, Tyrell. And Tyrell's part of the inner circle. He's part of the, you know, the commanding officers. And so, what eventually happens is Miko helps Tyrell reach the reins of power, where you know Tyrell comes into a position where he gets in control of the, of the whole troop. And it shows, you know, the it shows the moral dilemma of Miko, and you know if he should, you know, be a part of the life he's always known. And continue on with the violence and the bloodshed, or if he should go help the recess monkeys and show kindness and compassion. 
that in the show is Tyrell's dilemma where, you know, the, the power is driving him mad to where, you know, it's, 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 it touches on how how people in control, you know, face these these power trips and they face these more dilemmas themselves on, you know, what's right, what's wrong, and, you know, and having to having to assert their authority. And so overall the plot was very good because, you know, being being a book about war is very sequential, you know, each event was based off of a of, of, uh, the previous event and they all built off of each other and it's constantly building the momentum and it's, you know I feel like the beginning you know of most books the beginning was a little bit slow kind of like but it was very it was good though because it's getting helping you get to know the characters setting the scene setting the environment you know kind of getting, getting a feel for for the universe he's creating and though and then the, the, as the action starts forming you know you really start to get attached to this character and start to get attached to the cause to the purpose and so as the book goes on you know it, it's 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 very intense you know there's, you know the monkey warriors thing oh it's gonna be a playful book but no this book's very very gory and it's actually you know that it, it goes into detail about how the monkeys attack each other there's a lot of bloodshed a lot of deaths and so i thought it was very interesting you know, you see a lot of people turn on each other. You see a lot of plot twists that you wouldn't expect. You see a lot of, you know, a lot of situations where you wonder, you know, what would I have done if I had been in that situation? Would I, you know, have gone this route? Would I have, have made this choice, you know? And so it has, it, it, it's, the philosophy, the philosophy and the message and meaning behind it is very deep. It goes very into introspective into the mind. And so the ending, I thought, um, the ending was very, well done. I, I did uh, honestly, you know, since it's a review, I'd be critical. I did think um, one of us, one of the deaths. I'm not gonna be specific about which one, because you know I don't want you to read the book. Oh, um, but talking on that, the book is by Richard Curti. You, know, you, you, you could look him up. He, he's a. Um, I haven't read any of his other books. You know, so I got I got this book at the dollar store for a dollar, and it was a very, a very pleasant surprise, a very good investment I made. And I'm very glad, you know, I got it. So it was a quick buy, but it was I, I read it cover to cover. I, had, I was very captivated by it. So yeah, it's by Richard Curry. I don't want to read the book. So yeah, one of the deaths, um, I just feel like it could have. The, it just there was. It wasn't. And that's why it wasn't that it wasn't very dramatic because the death itself, the way they had set it up, it was very. It was a very uh, clever. It was a very clever way to do it. But I feel like the character that died could have learned more right before he died. Kind of like, oh, I wish his last words had been more more crucial or something. Like, something, it, it was, it had the opportunity to really sink in a deeper message, but it kind of just, just kind of killed him off, you know? But, the death that followed after that one, which was, um, like I said, I'm not going to talk about who died, but another character, his death was very well done because, you know, I'll see if I can find it. Hello, well, Basically speaking on how you know he's he lived his whole life in obedience, just to just to face death, just to you know just he he had a very bittersweet regret, you know, I, I, and I emphasize that, and I thought it was very well done. Um, the romance in it, maybe I give it like a three out of five. I feel like it could have been better. I feel like the romance was kind of stereotype, kind of general. It wasn't very, it wasn't very compelling you know but it was there it was it was cute it was a cute romance but it wasn't like very passionate i feel it wasn't it could have been a little bit better i feel like the, the author intended for the passion to be there but he could have worded it a little bit more detailed or i don't know what it was i just felt like it was lacking something it was still good overall on the friendships made they're they're, they're pretty pretty normal it was like I said, it's a war book so it wasn't very like casual friendship it was more about beneficial like okay we're gonna team up more about alliances more than friendship and um family the family and the family aspect of it was very well done because being you know monkeys from troops you know you have you have that sense of family and have that sense of obedience to your troop and to your to your species to your blood and, and it showed how those ties would be tested a lot and how you know people would turn on each other so all in all, 
honestly, it's my first book review. So I'm gonna go through a checklist, see like, what ha what I missed, and kind of just see what else I can add to this discussion to make it very beneficial to y'all. Let me see. One second. So I cover the plot, beginning, the middle, the end. You know, the beginning kind of slow, but it, it just, it's just slow because it eases you into the environment. The rising action was very sequential, very built up. It was good. The ending, it was, it was very clever, and it was very well done. The plot was good. Characters, you know, I touched on the characters. The character, de the character development was very well done. Uh, um, and the characters had their own personalities. All each one had to add something to the story. Um, the details of it, okay, the details of the book, how specific the book got, was very good. Like I said, a lot of the story was more shown than told. You know, you actually experienced it with them. You know, the being, like I said, being a military book, being a you know book about war, and seeing the strategies that the, that the monkeys implement against each other, seeing all the tactics they use, I thought that was very well done. All the details, you know, all the certain little things that you wouldn't normally think about, and just in certain scenarios, how they had to really think quick. And some of the stuff that came up was, was very clever. And so, what else? That's mostly it. Like I said, five out of five is very well done. Monkey Wars. I really highly suggest it to people because, like I said, it's not just some sort of fiction. But off the, off the bat, like, like you know, um, sustain the weak, destroy the strong on the cover. And it goes. In, it has little quotes throughout the book. So I'm gonna read one quote, and it's kind of like gets you to feel. This kind of sets.